Hi there, welcome to another week of As Real As I Can Be. My name is Kanyisa and today, finally my babes has said yes to being in front of the camera. So if you watch the videos, you'll know that I mention her a lot and sometimes she'll be on the background when I do my hiking videos. But today I was like, sit down with me and let's just talk to the people. <laughs> so this is just us having a very quick conversation. But before we start, do you want to say hi to the people? Hi, I'm Indy. Nice to meet y'all. Nice to, nice to meet y'all. She actually got me saying y'all a lot with that accent. So I'm all like, even when I post, I'm like, how's it going y'all? Uh, anyway, the way I want to start this is talk about how we actually met. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I go first. Okay. So we sort of have different uh, versions of <laughs> of this story perspectives. and different perspectives. So we met in the Philippines in El Nido, Palawan, where I used to live, and we actually met on my very last week in El Nido, and Indy was a backpacker. Yeah. Yeah. And so I ended up hanging out at Spin Hostel, shout out to Spin, thank you Spin, where she was staying and I was visiting, not visiting, I was going there to hang out with my friend Millie, shout out to Millie, I know you're going to be like, you know how she's always yeah, like, she's like, you need to give me credit, you need to give me credit, Millie. exactly, yeah. and then I was with Pamela, another one who's like, I want to I wanna be mentioned as well as Justine and anyway we went to spin to hang out and I got there I was going through I was going through a breakup well I the breakup how should I say that yeah okay so the I'll edit that part out so okay. we can just talk so the breakup had already happened and I had moved to Thailand after the breakup and when we met I had gone back to El Nido to sort of pack up my life and really moved to Thailand. And so this was the first week, the last week, my very last week in El Nido. And I think it was a Monday. Oh, and my, I don't even know what day of the week it was. Because she was drunk most of the time. Well, I had also <laughs> just come from America, so I also didn't know what time it was. Yeah, and she was traveling. So when you're traveling, you don't really care yeah, yeah. what day or what time it is. It was is. definitely June. <laughs> it was definitely June. June. Like June 4th. June 5th. Okay. I think. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, we'll still with that. Yeah, that actually <laughs> sounds right. And so uh, we were sitting there drinking. What and she's forgetting to tell y'all is that that night her rebound from her breakup was meant to fly into El Nido and she missed her flight. And so Kanisa got invited to the hostel party where we met. A little act of faith right there. A little act of faith right there. I know you love adding that. <laughs> I mean, like, when I found forget. that out, I was like so mind blown that we actually met. I know. Because we, we were not. We yeah. shouldn't have. We wouldn't have. We if wouldn't she have. arrived that yeah. night, we wouldn't have. No. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah. Life would be so different. Yeah. Okay, back to how we. So we're at the Spin Hostel. My friends and my sister and I, we sit there watching her play. Beer pong. beer pong and she was wearing that little no it's not little she was wearing this yellow dress i have like this really sexy yellow free people number yeah <laughs> maybe we'll show a photo of that and she was just dragging her feet with this uh, her hair was long and blonde at the time and she was just walking around playing beer pong and i was just from that moment i was like Ooh, who who is that person. Well, as soon as I walked in the room to go play beer pong, Kanisa and Pamela were sitting right there and they both are stunning. And I have watched Black Panther on the plane and Kanisa had this like really dope haircut that I actually learned was actually a mess up by one of her barbers in El Nido. <laughs> yes. But it made her look really cool and edgy and a little bit scary. So I was also staring at her all night. Yeah, but I don't, I don't believe her when she says this because I was just so just fixated on her the whole night well you can ask tia oh ask tia <laughs> it's so funny she just texted me tia you need to get in on this let me know if she really was watching me but uh i, I so i turned to my sister and i'm like i really like that girl and my sister goes she's straight that girl is straight <laughs> she was like we have just gone through this you 
are not doing this again no more straight women for you you are done and i was like i don't care i just i just like her i want to hang out with her and then um i went and i told all my friends this is where millie showed up millie showed up for me big time so millie's playing beer pong right on the table next to theirs and so i go over to her and i'm like mills do you see that yellow dress and millie's like yes and i'm like i really like that yellow dress millie's like oh what if you take the girl I, this is millie word for word she's like okay you take her home and keep the yellow dress and give it to me the next day because i really <laughs> like that yellow dress and so i mean to cut a long story short from my side of things Millie and Pamela organized this group. It's sort of like a spin the bottle type situation yeah. that is an app on your phone. And they were giving us rules. So it ended up where you were sitting next to me. Yeah. And so we're playing this game and they would come up with the rules where we would end up having to touch or kiss and... Well, you forgot to tell them about when I came up and introduced myself to you. Yes. And then I sat next to her trying to get a conversation in, but Justine took over a conversation <laughs> with me and her. And so I loved chatting to Justine, but I like kept looking at Kanye so I, I was like, am I going to be able to talk to this girl? And I was annoyed with Justine because the whole night she was watching me watch you and being like, Kanye. And she was, <laughs> Justine was like, oh my God, it's really interesting to see you be into a chick like this. I've never seen this yeah. side of you before. But then when you came to talk to us, she just was like, she was like, oh my She just took to over. And, and it was lovely talking to her, but yeah, I was definitely focused on you. And then Millie came over and was like, let's play a game. Yeah, because <laughs> Millie knew I wanted to talk to you. And that is how we met. And then that night we went to the club, I remember. And yeah, but um, Millie kept trying to make us kiss. Millie did kiss. She, she got us to yeah, kiss, Yeah, we though. kissed. Yeah, we kissed. And then she was like, now you get to choose somebody to lick their cheek or something and I didn't want you to think that I was like thirsty so I licked somebody else's cheek some guy he's he's gay he is gay but but then I was but like that was kind of my thing I know <laughs> <laughs> yeah she she's she's dated a few gay men yeah like most of the few are it's, gay it's just now. too many gay men for one woman to date oh judgy sorry observe it I just like the feminine energy that gay men bring to the table. Yeah. Now you get to have it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, so back to the night we met and then we went to the clubs. Yeah. And she was holding my hand at the club. My friends noticed. And they were like, that was quick. I was like, lesbians. <laughs> Because like, you guys are already holding hands, and we're already holding hands, and that was it. That's how we met. Yeah. Yeah. And then you left and went to Bali. Shargal. Shargal. Yeah. And I followed. Yeah. And we hung out in Bali. Yeah. So she came to, she texted me, and she was like, I'm moving to Thailand, but I want to come spend a couple weeks with you in Bali. And I was like, oh my god, I thought I'd never see this chick again. But we were talking, we were talking every all day. the time. Like, I was waiting for my phone to yeah, ring. Yeah, we were talking all the time. And yeah. she pulled that whole thing, because I'm really old school. I love talking on the phone. And I don't really text much. And she was like, I don't like texting. I was like, talking, because you didn't like talking on the phone. But by the end of it, we were well, talking for hours. I was also kind hours. of scared of her, so I was like... Why were you scared of me? I'm well, so because I'm American and I was like, <laughs> what does this chick want from me? Sex trafficking. <laughs> mm. So, from that day, we've been together for over two, oh, two and a half years. Two, now. two and a half years now, and we are living in Seattle with Oliver, who's passed out right next to us on the couch. And on my side of things, I think it's been everything that you would expect a new relationship to be from healing right because lots we've done and i think we continue to do lots yes. of healing which for me on, on on my side of things is really beautiful because 
I'm not healing alone. And so we are in this process of healing together. And sometimes it's really hard. Yeah, it's right? important to have a partner that supports your growth. Yeah. And sometimes we really get to see our triggers. We get to see those parts of us that aren't healed and we sort of walk through that together mm -hmm. and we also deal with being an international couple yeah and maybe we should do a vis video about being an international couple because i don't want this to be long because right now we're dealing with visas and yeah that's a whole nother thing that's that's like that's a mountain yeah if you're in love with somebody and you are from the same country you are blessed yeah <laughs> <laughs> or maybe can we just say try not to fall in love with someone from a different country no it's just it's just a different kind of hurdle you have to get over yeah it's really hard but i think we're pushing through yeah definitely yeah and i mean i think we can end it here i just wanted it to be quick 11 minutes how we met and hopefully you'll come in and hang out and we'll talk about other things yeah. we we have very serious conversations we're like a very serious couple if you sh if you look at our books our books are very serious books when we're in the car if we're not listening to a podcast we're talking about something that has to do with mental health and psychology and healing and family so we have these really deep conversations that i think in the future soon we can come and have them on here <laughs> okay yeah Okay, right. well that's it for today and thank you for listening. If you want to hear more from Indy, tell her in the comment section. Say, Indy, come and talk to us again and subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you guys again next week. Bye. Bye.